working with a lot of people over the next couple of weeks. This is finishing up at some point. It'll be finished. Every single review, every legal scholar that I've been able to read said there's no case, there's no crime. It's a disgrace that it was allowed to happen. The judge, as you know, is highly conflicted, like nobody I've ever seen is conflicted. He should not be the judge. He should not be allowed to have anything to do with this case. He should be so far away from this case. Outside, if you take a look, it looks like we're Fort Knox. There's so many police and they don't allow people to come. You know, you're allowed to have friendly protests, but we're not allowed to have anything here. They have more police and more assistant DAs and DAs. I've never seen anything like it over what everybody, Alan Dershowitz, everybody said, there's no crime here. There's no crime. Jonathan Durling, every single person, Greg Jarrett, Andy McCarthy, uh, look, anyone you want to name, Mark Levin, great lawyer, all of them, great lawyers, great legal scholars. Every single one said there's no crime. This is a, The crime is that they're doing this case. This was a case that wasn't going to be done. And then when I announced I was running, they brought it up. They could have done it seven years ago. This could have been brought seven years ago. But they wanted it right smack in the middle of election. These are very dishonest people that we're dealing with. But outside, it's like uh, Fort Knox. You can't get within three blocks of this place if you're a civilian. And it's a shame what they're doing. What they're doing in terms of suppression and election interference has never been anything like that. The good news is the polls are through the roof. One just came out way up in North Carolina, way up in Georgia, way up in Nevada, way up in Arizona. Uh, overall, way up, leading by five, six, seven points. Crooked Joe Biden, most crooked president we've ever had. The worst president in the history of our country. We have a lot of congressmen and some senators down today, and they're all up in arms over this. They can't even believe it. We have quite a few congressmen. I guess you'll be talking to them in a little while. But uh, I want to thank you very much for coming. At least we're getting the word out, but it's very unfair. I'd like to be in these various states where I should be campaigning like anybody else. This is a Biden trial. This all comes out of the White House and the Department of Justice. This is all them. In fact, a lead person from the DOJ is running the trial. So Biden's office is running this trial. This trial is a scam, and it's a sham, and it shouldn't happen. Thank you very we much.